환영합니다, 손님. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video of Library of Ruina, the modded series. I'm Dumb Monic Wolf, and today we're going to be continuing the Distortion Detective mod. Now, before we get started, I do want to apologize to every single one of you on the lack of uploads. Now, with that, everyone, let's go ahead and jump right in. There's a haunted house. People disappear when they pass by that place. Another case for missing people, I see. How exactly do they disappear? No one knows who disappears or how. They're just gone. We only know that those people are not here anymore. Then it's either a memory manipulator or a reality warper. But detective, I thought reality warpers only existed in your theories. Just because it only exists in theory doesn't mean we can be certain of its in existence. What are you people talking about? Ah, uh, just some jargons related to our business. You don't have to worry too much about it. By the way, where did they go missing? It's somewhere around the Plaza of Cherished Hopes. It's not that far from here. How did you know that they went missing? There are abandoned objects that have traces of those missing people they're strewn about in places. Like bikes on the streets, cars, or cups they used inside their homes. And most of all, the furniture in my attic was placed in a way as if someone had been living there until today. Does that mean one of your family members went missing? That's the strangest part, because I live alone. Everything will be revealed once we're done with the investigation. There's no need to worry. What if I did have a family like you just said? And if they had been kidnapped and killed? What would you want to do in that case? Find whoever's responsible and make them pay for it until they beg for mercy. Uncompromising, I see. All right, everything looks good, sir. Now, shall we talk about the commission fee? Did you get the case? Yes, I'm currently discussing a few things related to the case with Ezra. Are you sure she can be trusted with it? She seems rather d- <clears throat> I mean, simple-minded. Ezra may look like a clumsy child, but she knows how to gauge the seriousness and difficulty of her share of work. She may not be able to see distortions, but she's trustworthy enough for me to let her handle things. So, have you got any ideas to what could this case be? Roughly, although we'll have to get to the location ourselves for more details. On the surface level, this appears to be a simple disappearance case. Disappearance? Indeed, however, there is something very unusual about it. No one can remember those who went missing. Someone had certainly existed, but they were forgotten as if they didn't. Is that even possible? Very much, considering the nature of distortions. Hmm. Detective, I'm done writing the contract. The client went back to her home. The Plaza of Cherished Hopes, he said. We're leaving right now. Yes, ma'am. Do I bring the usual gadgets? Sure. Well then, shall we get prepared too, my rider? Ta-da! We are here at the Plaza of Cherished Hopes. What are we going to do next? Wait here until nightfall? Judging from our client's description, the distortion we're looking for this time is likely to be a location type. There's no need to wait until nighttime, as we can simply look for distorted buildings. But detective, only you can see those weird buildings. Is there anything we can do? See if there's abandoned stuff around that lost their owner. That's what this distortion is all about. A few minutes later. I haven't found anything particularly weird. Didn't see anything remarkable either. There are quite a lot of other distorted buildings around the plaza. Windows with eyes, apartments floating in the air, doors with teeth, and rooms filled with water. It's not gonna be easy. Still, there's a certain trait that stands out. It devours people, and the devoured ones are forgotten from memories. Ah, uh, I'm tired. Orlando, focus. Ezra, quit yawning and look for any places around here that provides goods and services for charity. For charity? What kind of place would even exist in the back streets? Backstreet people doing something for free, even when they are too busy trying to survive themselves. Could there be such a... Preferably a place where people who don't have jobs would go. All right, there's this place called, what was it, La something? There used to be a soup kitchen named Lemire Soup Kitchen. Is it sponsored by anyone? 
Nope, it seems to be ran by an individual. I have a hunch. Let's go and see. Didn't you say it was a soup kitchen? I did. It even says so right there. What does this place look like in your eyes, detective? A photo studio aged and worn out. So this place looks like a soup kitchen to you three. Yep. Correct, every morning they serve free meals to orphans and elderly people living in poverty. Seems like we're in the right place. Well then, should we use the ferry? Huh? You're going to use that expensive thing here. I agree, it's not like you don't know it costs a fortune to get it charged one time. This is just a worn down tent. We can use the entrance like normal people would. I'm seeing a door sealed with a large padlock. Plus, I don't appreciate the way you're talking to me. I'll have to cut your pay for that. What? Just kidding. Don't you think you're having a bit too much fun with that? I feel like I'm losing at least 10 years from my life every time I hear you say that. Why? Do you actually wish to have your pay cut? <laughs> Nonetheless, we won't need to wait until nighttime to get this case done. Me seeing an old tent as a photo studio, the distortion has manifested quite much at this point. We should be able to interfere with it now. So, do we just go in? Hold on, you shouldn't barge into a closed off section of someone else's mind. Okay, she's knocking. Huh? What did you just do? The entrance opened up on its own. I simply showed a little courtesy. You weren't happy with using the ferry. Then the other option for dealing with a closed door is to knock. Wow, it's much bigger on the inside. Now I see why you said it looks like a photo studio. These walls are filled with photos. Could those people in the photos be the victims? Perhaps. Now that I'm looking at it closely, these are all photos of dead people. I thought they were just sitting there. Halt. Everyone, quiet. Ooh. Yeah. Oof. Why does that send a shiver down my spine? This room, it's breathing. I can even feel the heartbeat. It feels gross. This place has devoured quite a lot of people. Over there, there's an elderly person dying. Oh no, this person is about to die. Their breath is weaker than that of this room. This person is dying alone and forgotten. This is a place of memorial. Yikes! I remember each person in their photograph. I take pictures of them and frame them. Who are you? I'm a photographer. I believe I should be the one asking who you two are, in fact. This is Moses, the distortion detective, and I'm the talented sidekick as... <laughs> Ow! Must you reveal our identities so carelessly? We are fixers. We actually got a request about recent cases of disappearances. Huh? Disappearance, you say? So they do realize that much, at least. But what would be the point of it at this point? What are you implying? These people were considered non-existent even when they were alive. But now, when they are about to die, people just notice their absence. How tragic. Did you lure them here for free meals to kill them? No, I didn't. I'm simply remembering the people who are bound to be forgotten like Miss Angus over here. I take pictures of them so they can be memorialized in this room. This place, the back streets, it's filled with people who are dying alone. No one ever mourns for them. I realized as I worked that there is no one for these people at the end of their desolate lives. This is why I want to remember them. After kidnapping all those innocent people, this is what you felt. Is this some kind of sick joke? Not at all. My work was accompanied by an awful stench. Usually when there was a putrid, unbearable odor coming from somewhere, neighbors report it with loud complaints and curses. Then I go and retrieve the body. So, you were a mortician who usually dealt with people that died lonely deaths. Yes, my work was looking for such bodies in the streets of District 14 and direct funerals for them. As part of the welfare plans of the N-Corp's nest, I arranged funerals for 253 people. And for all those funerals, not a single mourner showed up. Truly, it's simply tragic. I decided to take one last photograph of the deceased before I retrieved their bodies so that at least I can remember them. But then I thought this was a soup kitchen. I got fired. The nest said they didn't need any more tax wasters such as morticians like me. Funerals are for the living after all. 
I'd meet the same fate since I don't have anyone to remember me. For our lives to be meaningful, the memories have to be passed on somehow. So we've decided to remember each other, remembering that we existed and lived in this city. What a load of bullshit. Bullshit, huh? Why, what a violent man you are. You're just distorted. How would that in any way justify kidnapping people coming to your tent for free meals? Are you even certain whether they'd die alone or not? But it's obvious. It's apparent that they'll all die in their own rooms abandoned and forgotten by all. You, sir, gentleman in the black suit, you seem like you're familiar with the backstreet life. You know well, don't you? Only loneliness awaits at the end of the backstreet people's lives. Eventually, no one will stand by their deathbed. Shut it! Oh my. Roland. We'll be remembering each other and we'll be forgotten in peace. We have the right to not have our existence forgotten by everyone so ruthlessly. Right to not be forgotten, remembering each other? Not even funny. People like you don't have rights to take memories from others. You just didn't want to sink into oblivion all by yourself. You're trying to force your own loneliness out by dragging others into the same pit you're in. No. No. That cannot be. You're no more than a kidnapper. All you did was kidnap people who were in the same shoes you were. Because you yourself were afraid of being forgotten. That's right! You're nothing but a criminal! Shut the hell up, all of you. You will never understand the unspeakable pain of loneliness I had to witness. How pathetic. Spilling nonsense as if you know anything about being lonely. Right. <laughs> You'll all end up being forgotten anyways. I'll be the one remembering you forever. You two have rights not to be forgotten. Ezra, get ready. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the statistics of the Lonely Photographer, starting off with the Lonely Photographer's page. 150 HP, 40 stagger resist, 2 to 5 on the dice rolls. All resistances are immune. Now, let's go ahead and jump into his unique passive abilities, starting off with Lonely Photographer. At the start of the act, summon four memory cameras. If any active camera is present on scene, the photographer stays endured in all damage resistance and stagger resistances. If all cameras are remembered or no camera is left on the stage, become staggered and recover all cameras to original state next scene. Forgotten people at the start of the scene inflicts two loneliness to all opponents who are not remembered. Rights not to be forgotten if there is a character with five or more loneliness uses forever remembered combat page. All remember you. Power of the offensive dice increases according to the amount of loneliness given to the opponent. Power of the defensive dice increases according to the amount of loneliness given to self. If the photographer hits a opponent with loneliness, takes one loneliness from the opponent, one time per scene. All right, and he doesn't have any special cards in his shelf. We can't see that. So let's go ahead and move over to camera's page. 40 HP, 30 stagger resist, 1 to 2 on the dice rolls. All HP resistances are endured. Stagger resistances are ineffective. Now let's go over and move to his passive abilities. I'll remember you. Wait, is that the same? So let's see what this is and snap on hit if the opponent is not in a remembered state turn opponent into remembered state from this scene to the following two scenes remembered immobilized for x scenes loneliness does not stack all damage resistances permanently change to normal 20 stagger damage to all allies if killed in a remembered state Ready for the shot. On use, restore one light. On defense, extra stagger damage according to the opponent's loneliness value. On clash, lose. Remove one loneliness from opponent. All right. So that seems like that is all the statistics on these guys. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So what I'm doing is, is I'm allowing us to get some remember. Because he is going to give us two loneliness every time. So if we can actually... Uh, she didn't get it, but... If we can actually get something, that'll be good. Yes, so he's going to have remembered. So he shouldn't get... What is it? Two at the start of the scene? Yep. So maybe we just kill everything off.
All right. Oh, no, she got hit by it. That's not good. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, our characters are back to normal. Not bad. Okay, so she's going to be in the state, which is not good. So we can't get up to five. If we get up to five loneliness, he uses a special page. I don't know what it is, but we'll find out. Oh, fuck. Let's see. Forever remembered. Massimation. Combat starts. Instantly kills all characters with five or more loneliness, excluding self. And fully recovers stagger resistance. Great! Yep. bad oh my god he got staggered that's bad jesus oh my god Not bad. Ah, fuck. We lost that one. Yep, she's dead. A good thing I used that on rolling. Ah, oh, shit. Well, fuck. I don't think it matters. I think we're dead. Yeah, I think we're dead. He did. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, so I fucked up. I was not thinking about this. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump back in and figure this out. Nice. Dead. Just minus that. She's down to one. He just got rid of his. We're doing damage. Okay, she's gonna be stopped, but that's all good. Nice. Nice. Okay. Anyone got five? 29. Oh, shit. So Moses is dead. But. Alright, so he should be staggered, right? Oh, hell yeah, he is. Hell yeah. Too bad Roland wasn't available to attack. He was one turn off. We probably would kill him right here. Let's see. We might still kill him. Who knows? Oh, a lot of damage. Oh. Oh. Come on. 
one more yep he's dead good fuck the photographer fuck that guy that guy's an asshole taking pictures of dead bodies fucking lunatic all right Look at all those books. We'll have to see if we can go over his page. I don't know if he's gonna have one. Nope. Phew, it's finally over. We're back. Hmm. Well, work's over for today. Are you leaving? We should, it's getting late. It's been such a long day today. Why don't you have dinner with us? We're good, thanks. Well then, we'll take our leave. Looks like they got something bothering their minds, don't they? Who hasn't had their spirits wounded among everyone who's lived in the city? So, are you seeing distortions from them too? Well, I do, and I don't. Huh? What do you mean by that? It's nothing. We should have dinner too. Okie dokie. Uh-oh. Knock, knock, knock. Who could that be? Greetings, Dr. Moses. It's been a while. Oh, she does not look happy. <laughs> Must feel good to be playing in the big leagues way above me, doesn't it? Oh, no, not at all. Hello, he Jun Sambe. You tactless. What are you doing here? Heading north all the way up here from the south part of the city? It must be a complete mess down there with L Corp collapsing. You're as sharp as ever, Doctor. I'm actually here because of that. What? Look, I'm just too old to get myself involved with the wings. The distortion. You can see them, right? I would have closed this office otherwise. I wonder how I appear to you then. Son of a bitch. Well, your mouth is sewn up, it seems. Perhaps because it's actually going to be zipped up soon enough. Haha, <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Are you not in need of some funds? Do I look like I'm in a financial crisis? Then why else would you be doing something as absurd as the distortion detective? Ah, uh, she is not happy. I see. It's because you can't forget what you did back then. You still regret that, don't you? Shut the hell up, he Jun Sambe. Go on. Ezra and I were the only ones who survived your rampage that day. Wait, whoa, Ezra's... What the fuck is with Re Ezra? I just noticed that. You are essentially responsible for our lives, Doctor. What do you want me to do? Bite my tongue and die? I can't have you die on us so easily. No, you still owe us so much debt. Get to the point, why did you come all the way here from the south? I want you to head down there for a while. The southern branch is dealing with troubling incidents that are suspected to be cases of the distortion. We need your ability, Doctor. And please stop with your shabby attempts to solve your cases. What we want is the distortion manifesting in its whole. Don't try to restore them, just leave them be until they fully distort. What, is the seven into human experiments now? I suppose you could put it that way. I've reserved two warp tickets departing for N Corp's Nest in two months, so take the train and visit our associate office in K Corp's Nest once the time comes. Is it a request directly assigned from the seven associations? Yes, it's an urban nightmare class. You're free to deny it, of course. You don't care too much about belonging to associations, after all. But you might be able to meet a certain person at the end of this request. Leave the tickets here and saw it off. I look forward to seeing you, Doctor. That prick. Ezra, throw some salt out the door or something. <laughs> That's great. We don't have any salt in the office, though. Should I go buy some? You know what? I gotta go buy some. I'll be going. <sighs> I knew this day would come. Never mind the salt, Ezra. Yes, ma'am. Bring me a map of the city. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we don't actually have an official printed map here. One sec, please. I'll try to draw one up. Here, it's done. I made it using Picture Store. You call this a map? Well, it works. 
Two months later, huh? Hijun Sambe said this was related to L Corp, then why aren't we going straight to District 12 where L Corp used to be? I heard L Corp's nest has already fallen into absolute anarchy. They probably called us to stay in a safe place that's relatively close to it. The warp platform in L Corp's nest likely stopped operating anyways. Detective, are you really going to stop solving distortions once we get there? Are we just going to kill them? That's not up to me to decide. It depends on the severity of the distortion. But what if we ran into a distortion that could be reversed if we tried? We could think about that later. There's some time, so let's do our work as usual for now. Got it. I'll fetch the new request. And with that, everyone, that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to become part of the pack, go ahead and hit that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below because all comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I'm Dominic Wolf, and I'll see you all in the next video that I make because I am out!